I like gaming a lot. I play on my PC and Nintendo Switch often. Sometimes too often because my parents don't like me sitting in front of a screen. I mean, what's a 16 year old got to do in his free time? Read? <laughs> no way, that's boring. But my father and mother think differently. I'm not allowed on gadgets past 10 p.m. and more than five hours a day. I often find things to do when I'm not gaming, like puzzles, going outside and drawing. I would even sometimes hang out with friends or a good friend of mine named Erin. As you know, I really like gaming, but not just video games, board games too. But I only get to play them rarely because my parents are always working even though they do work at home and the few times I get to see my friends. I also have a bad habit of being rebellious and secretive. That's why lately I haven't slept at all. You see, I like to play games on my Switch past 10 p.m., which I hide if I hear my parents coming. I know when, since the floor creaks, my father is often on trips and my mother is a really heavy snorer, so I know when I have to be alert. One night, it happened, and I've been sleepless ever since. One night, I was staying up late, once again gaming on my Switch, when I heard the floor creak. I immediately hid the Switch under my bed, turned to face the wall, covered my mouth with a blanket, and pretended to sleep. I heard my room door open, and my mum came inside. I heard her as she walked up to my bed, she strokes my cheek with her hand, which is nice. But then it hit me. I froze up and started sweating. Father was on a business trip, so of course he wasn't the one stroking my cheek. But from my parents' bedroom, I heard loud snoring. So whoever was touching my cheek wasn't my mother or my father. It wasn't a human hand, so it couldn't have been the cat. I'm also an only child, so who the hell was in the house? I was so creeped out, but then the hand stopped, and as I felt the presence leave, it whispered. This has been happening every night. I can't sleep anymore, but I can't tell my parents, or they would know I've been staying up. I'm slowly going insane, and I wish I never stayed up late. Stayed up too late. My son told me he wants to have a job that matters. One where he can decide who lives and who dies. He's only 10. How can I not be proud of him? I ask him what sort of things would let him do that for a living. A surgeon or a fireman maybe, he says, a beautiful smile on his face. Well, you're not quite right. See, in those jobs, you're meant to save people, so you wouldn't get to decide. Still smiling, not breaking eye contact, he shakes his head at me. No, Dad, I could still pick who gets to live. I smile right back. Maybe he will turn out just like his old man. He's only 10. How can I not be proud of him? It's looping, everything. I've been trying to stand up and go get a glass of water for the last day and I'm dying of thirst. It's looping, everything. This will happen again and again with slight changes. I don't know how this has happened. It's looping, no escape. I don't know how or if you will understand, but I need help. Slight changes are occurring with no effect. Help, help me, help, I can't stand this anymore. I'm not sure if this is happening to anyone else, if there is any. For the first time in 
I don't know how long, I finally managed to survive 11 seconds. It's not much, but it's more time. I can finally see the aging. Everything around me looks old. My fingers are crumbling. I'm falling apart like sand. This will be the last 10 seconds. This is the last time. It is day, yet darkness crawls in from everywhere. I can only see the screen now. Everything else is gone. Everything. It's looping. Everything. I've been trying to stand up and go get a glass of water for the last day and I'm dying of thirst 